Okay, so single leg hip extension. You guys are gonna be down on the ground with one foot elevated. We're gonna do a 10 second hold on one side. From there, we're gonna finish off that 40 seconds doing our hip extension. 20 second rest, 10 second hold on the other side. Yeah, it really does not stay in my ear. Okay, so that's gonna be your warm up uh, for the first movement. Second movement's gonna be a plank shoulder tap. So you're gonna roll onto your front and you're going to be doing plank shoulder taps for 40 seconds, keeping those hips nice and level. Movement number three is going to be a psoas march. So you're gonna kind of be rolling around on the ground for a little bit here. So you're gonna be back onto the bench, elevate your hips, keeping that other leg extended. You're gonna draw that knee into your chest. 40 seconds here, keeping that glute bridge um, nice and strong. Then we're gonna stand up. We're gonna do a slow tempo goblet squat for 40 seconds. So it's gonna be five seconds down, fast up. Five seconds down, fast up. And then finally, 40 seconds of Russian swing. Okay? So two times through that. And then we're gonna finish off with a Tabata. All right. I think I have funny shaped ears because this does not stay. I always have this issue. Okay. I need like an ear extension. All right, guys, going in three, two, one. Here we go. 10 second hold. I'll turn that music up in a second to you guys. Sorry about that. All right, into those hip extensions, controlling it, butt to the ground, drive straight up. Keep going. That's loud, hey, concrete truck. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Little break, getting ready for your other leg. Just gonna go turn up this music. I did notice that Kim was not wearing this yesterday and I think I know why now. All right, three, two, one, and go. 10 second hold. And extension, straight up and down. Keep going. Almost there, three, two, one. All right, rolling onto your front. We're gonna go into our plank shoulder tap. This is so annoying. <laughs> 10 seconds, so we're gonna keep our hip level, 40 seconds straight. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Keep going. Halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and break. Okay, we're going to go back onto the bench doing our psoas march. So you're going to elevate your feet in about 10 seconds and we're going to draw that knee into our chest keeping our hips elevated okay it's be really good for your hip flexors your lower back here we go hip up draw that knee in keep those legs straight
Oh my goodness. 15 seconds. 10. Get those hips a little bit higher. And break. All right, standing up, we're going to go into our tempo goblet squat. I'm going to put my earpiece back in again. Clearly doesn't work for me. All right, so grabbing your weight, we're holding it at our chest. We're doing five seconds down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Squeeze your butt. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Keep going at that tempo. Weight should be in your heels. Make sure you're opening your hips at the top and squeezing your butt. Good work. Five more seconds. And break. All right, last movement is our Russian kettlebell swing, which just means we're taking it to parallel. Okay, and then we're gonna go through that list one more time. Hopefully a little smoother, for me anyway. Three, two, one, here we go. Swing. Oh, there she goes. Keep going, guys. <laughs> I don't know how to turn this thing off because I think I'm going to have to stick to just my voice. <sighs> 10 seconds. All right, back down to the ground, going into our single leg hip extension, 10 second hold, and then AMRAP for the rest of the 40 seconds. Here we go, hold it. And down and up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Switching legs, okay, so a little break here. Ten seconds, getting ready for that hold on our other leg. Three, two, one, extend up and hold. Get those hips nice and high. And down and up. Good job, you guys. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Little break onto our front, into our plank shoulder tap. It's the most distracting thing in the world. All right, going in five seconds. Three, two, one, plank position. You can widen those feet if you need to. Keep those hips level, and belly button in.
Keep going, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Little break, onto your back, so as march, feet elevated. We're getting there. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, hips up, legs are straight, drawing that knee into your chest. The leg on the bench is staying straight and flexed. Core is tight. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and stand up. All right. Grabbing your goblet or kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever you're using. We're going into our five second tempo squat. In three, two, one, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Keeping with that pace, nice and slow. Make sure the weight is in your heels. Okay, explosive up, squeezing your butt at the top. Fifteen seconds. I never thought I'd be happy to hold a kettlebell again, but I am. <laughs> and break. All right, into our swings now. Okay, this is our last movement. I think I'm gonna save the finisher I had for the warm up for the very end if we have time. Three, two, one, here we go. Just to parallel. Good work, you guys. Twenty seconds. Pick it up a little bit if you can. Good job. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and break. All right. Grab a drink and listen up. Okay. So, strength today, guys, is a 20-minute EMOM, which means every minute on the minute, we're going to be moving through the movement, okay? There's five movements, and we are going to be doing a 10-rep scheme for all of them, so 10 reps of everything. If you're in the gym and you want to challenge yourself with increasing weight, then I'm going to give you an alternative rep scheme of 10, 8, 8, 6. But otherwise, you're going to stick with 10. At home, 10 straight across. Okay, so movement number one is a one and one quarter squat. So if you're at the gym, you can either do a hack squat or a back squat, one and one quarter with your heels elevated. At home, you're doing a hack squat, okay? So you're going to need something to elevate your heels on using dumbbells or a barbell. We're going to be going for 10 reps. Chest stays nice and tall. Knees are going to um, drive straight forward all the way down, up a quarter, down a quarter, all the way up. We're going to stick together on that. 10 reps of that. So you have the option of using the barbell on the rack or dumbbells uh, at home or here. It doesn't matter. Second movement is going to be a seated bicep curl. We have not done anything seated for a very long time. So having a box or a bench handy, 
We're gonna go for 10 reps. We're gonna control it. Okay, so we're gonna do tempo, two seconds up and two seconds down for 10. Okay, if you wanna do standing at home, that's fine. Challenging yourself with the weight. Movement number three is going to be a uh, Bulgarian split squat. Can't get away from those. So you're gonna need something to elevate your back foot on. Okay, and we're gonna be doing 10 reps per side. So back leg extended behind you, chest is tall, weight is at your side. You're gonna go all, ooh, all the way down ooh, and all the way up. So that knee should almost touch the ground. If you're taller than me, it does. Okay, so 10 on one side and 10 on the other. Moving on, next we're gonna do a tricep extension. So you're either gonna do that from the ground or on a bench. Okay, so you can use one or two dumbbells. If you're doing it on a bench, you can make, just make sure that the, um, your head is at the very end and you're getting that full range of motion, okay? So you can do it laying down, you could do it seated, it's up to you. Can you use dual dumbbells, singular dumbbell? And the last thing we're gonna do is a single arm plank. So 20 seconds per side for that last minute. So you're gonna set yourself up into that plank position. One arm behind your back. 20 seconds here, 20 seconds here. And that is it. So we're gonna cycle through that four times. Every minute we switch it up. So if you finish your movement in 40 seconds, you have a 20 second recovery time. Any questions? You guys good? Okay. So just a reminder that if you're here in the gym, you can up that weight each round. You can decrease the uh, rep team down to eight for second and third round and then down to six, yeah, four total. Okay, let's get going. Starting with our hack squat or your one and one quarter back squat. All right, last minute set up here. Here we go. Okay, 10 reps total, controlled tempo. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way down, up a quarter, down a quarter, all the way up, that's one, down. Quarter, quarter, two, down, quarter, quarter, three, down, quarter, quarter, four, down, quarter, quarter, five, down, quarter, quarter, six, keep going all the way to ten. Seven. Eight. Make sure you're not bouncing in that quarter. When you're done, put that weight down. You've got 10 seconds, not very long. We're gonna go into our seated bicep curl next. Three, two, and one. You'll have a bit longer recovery here. Here we go. 10 reps, controlling on the way up, controlling on the way down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work, you guys. I was just standing because my bench wasn't set up properly. Couldn't extend them down, but sitting at the end of your bench or a chair is gonna work better. 10 seconds, we're moving into our Bulgarian split squat. Okay, so three, two, one, rear foot elevated. Here we go. All the way down, 
all the way up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch legs right into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Little break. Moving into our tricep extension. Okay, either lying or sitting, up to you. 10 reps, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, a little bit more recovery on that one. We're gonna be moving down into that one arm plank next. So 20 seconds per side. And then we're back to the top. So 10 seconds here. Three, two, one, into that plank, one arm behind you, get that butt down. All right, 10 more seconds. All right, switch hands, other hand behind your back. Maintain that strong position. Keep going. Your shoulder should be above your wrist, straight up above. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and break. All right, so if you're in the gym right now and you're challenging yourself with weight today, you're going down to eight reps of everything and upping your weight. Okay, I'm just gonna hold the time for another 20 seconds and then we're gonna go into round two. All right, so we're back to the top. Hack squats, one and one quarter, or back squats, one and one quarter. 10 reps at home, eight or 10 at the gym. Going in 10 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. All the way down, quarter, quarter, all the way up. Control that quarter rep. It is not a bounce. It's very strategic. Good job, you guys. Keep going. Eight or 10 reps. 10 at home. Keep going, you guys are killing it on those barbells. When you're done your 10 reps, put that weight down. We're moving into our seated bicep curl next. Here we go. If you're staying at the same weight, you're doing 10 reps again. Otherwise, up it and going for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
All right. I think I'm sweating more from being overly stimulated than working out right now. Ah! All right. The sweat's also holding this thing in my ear right now. <laughs> We're going into the split squat next. Okay, this one's a little tight on the time. Get set up. 10 per side. Here we go. One, chest is tall. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, switching sides, right into it. Chest is up, 10 reps. When you're done, you have a minute break. Moving into our tricep extensions next. 10 reps, here we go. Get that dumbbell. Keep those elbows in. When you finish your 10 reps, shake it out, take a little break. You've got 20 seconds. We're going into our single arm plank, and then we're heading, heading into round three. All right, guys, three, two, one, here we go. Plank position, one arm behind your back or you can extend it in front of you. Get those hips level, shoulder above your wrist. Three, two, one, switch sides, other hand behind you. Think about your hips right now. Are they level? Keep going. Three, two, one, and break. Okay, so moving into round three, if you went down to eight reps, you're staying at eight reps for round three. We're gonna go down to six for round four. At home, staying at the 10 rep scheme. We are getting ready to go into our back squat, one and one quarter, or hack squat, one and one quarter. All right, get yourself set up. We're going in three, two, one, and go. All the way down, quarter, quarter, all the way up. Keep that tempo, it's controlled. Keep going guys, doing great at home. When you're done, take a little break. Oh, I lost my head piece. 10 reps or eight reps if you're at the gym. This thing is not working for me. Whew. All right, next up guys, heated bicep curls. You're doing eight or 10 reps. Here we go. Two seconds up, two seconds down. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, keep going. You got it, Matt. Eight, those are heavy. Nine, and 10. Nothing like going fast out of the gate there. What are those, 35, 40s? Oh my goodness. Yeah, there you go. You regretted it after two reps. All right, guys, we're moving into our Bulgarian split squat now. Pick a side, any side. Here we go. 10 reps or eight if you're here. One, two, three, driving up to that front heel. Four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Switching sides. Ten reps at home. Good job, good job. All right, sitting back down again, or laying on your bench. You got this. Tricep extensions. Eight to 10 reps, here we go. When you're done, little break. Awesome job, you guys. Ten seconds. We're going down into our plank. We got one more round after this. Here we go, guys. Plank position. One arm behind you. Starting now. Too many slackers out there. You guys have five more seconds. Three, two, one, switch sides. 20 seconds here. Ten more seconds. Keep going. And break. All right, I'm gonna hit pause for a sec. We're gonna move into our last round of strength. So if you guys wanna challenge yourself here in the gym, you're gonna go down to six reps of everything, but you have to up the weight if you're gonna do that. Otherwise, stay the same, or you could go down in weight and up back up to 10 reps, it's up to you. We're gonna get going again in about 15 seconds. So make your choice. Oh man, I never wanna wear this thing, you guys. I think I need a child size one for my ear. I think that's what the problem is. Like headphones never stay in my ear either. I think I just have, maybe that's what it is. All right. Let's do this. Last round. We're going in 10 seconds. One and one quarter. Going in five, four, three, two, and one. All the way down. Quarter, quarter, all the way up. Control that quarter. Keep going.
Break when you're done after your 10 reps or your eight or your six, or whatever the heck you're doing. 10 seconds, moving into our bicep curls. Control, two seconds up, two seconds down. You know your rep scheme. Here we go. One. Two, full extension at the bottom. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. I'm really sorry, you guys at home, how this is not working the way I planned it to, or the way Cody planned it to anyways. All right, 10 seconds. Moving into Bulgarian split squat. Three, two, one. Get yourself set up. 10 at home, 10 per side. Get that knee down and keep that chest nice and tall. Driving through that front heel. Switching sides after 10 at home. Job. Whew. Tricep extensions are next. Seated or laying down. Going in five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ten reps at home. You can add in a few extras if you got it in you. All right, a little tiny break when you're done. We're so close to the end of the strength, guys. Down onto the ground. Get ready, I'm not starting till you do. Here we go, three, two, one. Arm behind you, 20 seconds. This is the last minute. You guys get a break after this before we hit hard on the conditioning. Five seconds. And switch. Keep going. Almost there. Three, two, one, and break. Good job, you guys. All right. It's been a while since we've done like a strength that was like really focused strength and not conditioning at all. It's funny how you get used, your body just, yeah, gets used to one way. I'm like stripping even more than usual. I'm sure there's a few reasons behind that. All right, I'm just gonna turn the music down for one sec. And we're gonna move on. Well, I'm glad everyone's sweating despite my not so organized system at this point. <laughs> okay, so listening up, you guys at home or you guys at the gym have some options on this um, particular workout to use a barbell. 
So what we're going to be doing is a five minute AMRAP of a series of movements. And then we're going to take a 90 second break. And then we're going to do another five minute AMRAP of a different set of movements. And then you're done. Okay, so it's 10, 10 minutes of work with that 90 second break in between the five minute intervals. Okay, so for the first five minutes, it's a 20, 20, 20 rep scheme. You're going to be doing weighted step ups. So either using a box or a bench, a chair, something at home. And when I say weighted, you could use a barbell here. If you want to, I would recommend just dumbbells and save the barbell for the other movement. So we're going to be alternating our step ups, weight in each arm. Okay, so stepping all the way down and switching what side you're stepping up with. Every time you step up is one rep. Second movement is going to be a deadlift. Okay, so you can do deadlifts with dumbbells for 20 reps, or you can use a barbell today. Okay, recommended weight for women is going to be somewhere between 65 and 95, and for men, it's going to be between 85 and 115. So if you want to do deadlifts for 20 reps with a barbell, set it up now. Okay, third movement is push-ups. So 20 reps of push-ups of your choice, and you're going to cycle through 20 step-ups, 20 deadlifts, 20 push-ups for five minutes, okay? And then you get a break. And then I'll explain the next part during that break. Actually, maybe I'll explain it right now so people at home can know. In that, so while you're setting up your barbell for your deadlift, after that 90 second break, we're gonna move on to three new movements. It's going to be 10 push press. Okay, so here you can use dumbbells or a barbell, okay, and the weight for that would be 45 to 65 or 75 for women. So you're going to use the same barbell that you have right now. We'll just switch up the weight during that 90 second break. And yeah, so 10 push press, 25 kettlebell swings or odd object or whatever you have swings, and then 20 V sits, okay? So V sits on the ground, explosive, keeping your feet elevated the whole time. Okay, so that's our second. I'm gonna remind you of that during that 90 second break. And you guys are gonna quickly switch up your barbells during that 90 second break for push press. So you can have it back up onto the rig. All right, let's uh, get going here. So five minutes with a 90 second rest and then another five minutes. Okay, once again, 20 step ups, 20 deadlifts, and 20 push ups. I don't have time to set up my barbells, so I'm just going to go for dumbbells with my homies. All right, let's do this. Five second countdown. All right, 20 step ups, here you go. I'm gonna turn that music up. 20 step ups total. Keep going guys, 20 step ups. After your 20 step ups, you're moving into 20 deadlifts. Twenty step ups, twenty deadlifts, twenty push ups. Regular deadlifts, guys, not already else. Thank you. 
20 push up guys. After your push up, back to the top. 20 step ups with weight. Try to pick up that pace a bit if you can. Sorry, we're listening to Justin Bieber. I can't switch it now. Twenty step up, twenty deadlift, twenty push up. We've got 90 seconds left. I want you to finish that second round. Keep going. Forty seconds. Finish this round. Keep going, 20 seconds. Break to the end, guys. Five seconds. And break. All right. Good work. We've got just under 90 seconds recovery. Part two is five minutes. We're doing 10 push press. So you're gonna switch up your barbell. If you wanna use a barbell, put it up onto the rig, adjust the weight. Okay, reminder, push press. Little dip, drive overhead, dip and drive. So you're gonna be doing 10 reps, followed by 25 swing, okay, kettlebell, dumbbell, 20 V sit. Okay, so it's 10, 25, 20. Keep that rep scheme in your head. You guys have 25 seconds. Ten push press, twenty five swings, twenty V sets. Getting ready to go in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Ten reps.
25 swings, 20 deep sets. We're halfway through. A minute and 45 seconds, keep going. more push press. You guys have just over a minute left to go. Finish this workout strong. Don't stop till the end. You got it, Keith. Thirty seconds. Right to the end. Come on, come on. Ten seconds. Three, two. One. And done. Good work at home, you guys. I'm really sorry about the headpiece thing. I'm going to get it figured out so that it stays in my ear. I hope it wasn't too crazy, it was but it's fine. Yeah, it was it was fine. Okay. Yeah. It just, it's really annoying, to be honest. So I'll have to figure something out. But. Good job. Thank you. And it'll just keep getting smoother from here, doing the both things at the same time. Yeah, I was thinking, I mean, I wonder if you almost want to just do like one recorded home workout a day. Like I wouldn't mind watch. It just it seems like it would be a lot for you to do at every class. Yeah, I know. We're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to um, 